Hello, oh, this is Mr. Horn of 83 with uh, Mr. Horn of 83 review of Ray Donovan episode, I think it's five or six of season four. Um, episode, name of the episode was Ever Even or something like that. Or Never Get, I don't know, I forgot the name of the freaking episode. But the whole episode is based around Ray and Mickey scalping out the. Uh, Casino, they're planning on robbing, which I probably won't have to post her to the end of the season. Um, there's also some interaction, there's also some problems between Bridget and her new boyfriend, Punchy, and his wife, Teresa. Um, Terry trying to take on a protege to make him a great boxer, and there was just there being there. Also, Abby dealing with her breast cancer situation. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's Ray and Mickey getting prepared to scout out the casino, and um, they track down this Indian guy who I guess works for that guy in the casino. They kidnap him, and then I guess they go to another guy that works for that guy in the casino, and they. Run into some trouble with that guy, but I guess they got the money. The guy blew himself up or something. And vicious. Um, and um, oh yeah, and then uh, Nikki's trying to convince Daryl's mom to get back with him, which she's been doing ever since season two, as I've seen. Him. Um. And she's talking to him and that because she works at that casino. But there's one point where I guess she got held at gunpoint by the owner of the casino, played by Ted Levine. If you don't know who Ted Levine is, think of movies like Silence of the Lamb. Think of The Hills Had Eyes. Think of the show Monk. He was Captain Stoudemire. I think that was his name. Uh, where Randy's like, don't eat your goofy mustache. <laughs> That episode was funny, <laughs> but, um, so then Abby, no, I'll get to Abby in a minute, um, so, Ray's daughter, her and her teacher split up because apparently while they were out, uh, another lady who I guess was a student of his came up and said, it's nice to see you're still screwing kids, so, that makes her believe Bridget, yeah, that makes Bridget believe that she slept with them, which I think she, I think uh, she said that the teacher did finally realize he did. Even though he denied it, she said she knew he did. And she was like, well, I thought I was his first one because I felt special because, you know, that's the first time a teacher broke his oath for me, but oops, she found out the hard way. What, and Terry's consoling her. So then Abby, she's still focusing on her breast cancer. She had a doctor's appointment, which she goes to. And the doctor pretty much tells her what the lady that works for Ray's lady doctor friend told her. So with that lady doctor and also tried to put moves on Abby in the last episode. Um, so... You know, Abby's still devastated about that. She's saying she's not going to cut off her tits. And, you know, <laughs> she's not getting her tits cut off. You know, she don't want her boobs getting cut off. So, um, Then we get to uh, Terry's apprentice, which he's been trying to get this kid to train with him which the kid finally came in and he told him he was supposed to be there at 7.30 sharp and he told him to leave and come back tomorrow so, but the boy said I think he said he like had some kind of church ceremony like some kind of church to go to so Terry's like oh my bad you know alright I'll train you tonight which he did um, then the boxer who's been a big part of this season so far I don't know his name but he's been a big part of this season so far he lost I think in episode three, lost his fight. Um, he comes in. Daryl's all excited to meet him, and he's talking about how he wants to fight. Cause Daryl used to be a boxer. 
talk about how he's always wanted to fight with that guy. The guy agrees to spar with him, which we see him spar later on in the, in the episode. Um, Avi's sitting there watching Ray's house, watching Abby and Ray's son. But Ray's son's playing a video game, and Avi comes up to him talking about um, he want, used to read a book, and he makes a bet that if he beats him, in the video game that he'll, his Ray's son has to read a book and then Ray's son says well I'll tell you what if I, if you, if I beat you you have to let me see your gun or something like that so he sees the gun uh, Ray's son beats him in the game uh, he lets him well at first he was hesitant he was going back out of the deal but the son's like well you made the bet so you gotta honor it so he wasn't going to and then somebody comes to the door with some flowers, and um, I think it was one of my uh, Armenian mob members trying to attack Ray's house again. Because at the beginning of this season, uh, Ray's been having built Armenian mob because of what him and Mickey did at the end of last season. Which you also seen him deal with an Armenian mob member earlier in the movie. But Avi tells him, You better get out of here because if not, you're going to end up dead like the rest of them, missing that. And, um, and he shuts the door and then he shows Ray's son his gun and that's pretty much all of Bobby in that. Um, then we get to one of the major storylines of the of this episode, which was which has been a pretty much big storyline throughout the whole season so far is Punchy, aka Brendan, problems with Teresa, the marital problems, um, the babies. And honestly, I think she's going through postpartum like depression. But who knows, because she was telling him, she's like, you know, she never wanted him. She never wanted to marry him. She never wanted the baby. He keeps saying, oh, you're just saying that because you're tired, you're tired, you're tired. But, uh, apparently, he don't know nothing about post-pregnancy uh, post depression or whatever it's called. Um, so, he leaves the baby with her because she, at one point, which I was, I wouldn't have put my baby with this lady after what she said. She said she wanted to take a pair of scissors, stab the baby, stab him, and stab herself. So she's pretty, I don't know, it was pretty psychotic and leaves the baby with her. At the end of the episode, she takes the baby back to the gym, so Punchy's all devastated. Bridget tried to help him with the baby earlier, but he said, nah, I got it myself. I'll take care of it myself. Um, so pretty much that's about it. I've covered pretty much almost every major storyline in the episode um, and it was a pretty good episode I'm going to give it a 4, and a, four out of 5 a good episode I really love Ray Donovan great show um, that'll do it um, please like this video leave a comment subscribe for more of my Comic Con video I guess I'll probably do tomorrow because I got another video that I want to do this week and then Friday I'm going to check out some paranormal stuff VTA Vice City on Facebook Live like I did with the San Andreas so hopefully I get more people to join me live and they won't join it after I've shared it on my page which I had to do with the live too but um so yeah I'm going to talk about what's been going on with WWE I'm going to do a Comic Con reaction and follow me on my Facebook fan page Mr. Orange Bay 3 I'm going to be having a lot going on there written review for this tonight's Smackdown did a raw written review I've done a few other written reviews One Punch Man was one and that you know this coming week I will have the return of my written ROH reviews and a written review of New Japan after I watch them but that'll do it peace out